Uh, my name's Damien Thornber and I'm the coordinator of the Desert Feed Tour. Now I play in the band, the Orphans, I facilitate the music workshops and I'm also the chairperson of the charitable organisation of our educational services that um, is the host company for the project, uh, the Desert Feet Tour. I'm Emily Minchin, I play the viola on the tour mostly and I also um, have a role in organising it. I think a lot of um, negative media comes out of remote indigenous communities. It tends to portray uh, indigenous people and, and remote communities in a negative light and that's not been my experience out here at all so although it's an educational music workshop tour focused on inspiring kids in remote communities to develop their talents the real underlying motive behind it would be more to educate the public about the quality of the talent and um, the calibre of the children and uh, the beauty of the people and the landscape that we have here. That's, I believe, our most underutilised resource in this country. Jumping in the spring, jumping in the spring, keep nearly clean, drink nearly clean. We keep our garden green, we keep our garden green. The tigers are our team, the tigers are our team. I love it up here and the People are always awesome and the kids love to learn about music and in, in, in inspiring children uh, to develop their talents through Indigenous role models and, and bringing those role models out here and creating performance opportunities for them and employment for them as well. My name is Candice Laray Dempsey. Um, I've come on this tour as um, my new artist name, Ola Shea. And um, basically, um, I've come from Ab Music College and I'm a teacher there. that it, it's it's really good for the kids to see different versatile things happening in the music industry you know um, you know there's hip-hop there's reggae there's rock there's folk there's country there's all these different styles and different things you can do with music and that's what we like to display when we're out there MC, a hip hop artist from Perth, originating from Brisbane. If you love hip hop and you want to hear more, say, oh yeah. oh yeah. Get to see people that I've seen over the years and get them to know them by name and face, and yeah, I love meeting people and, and making new friends. And burn like a furnace with the purpose. Or make your statement. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the tour. When, I, when we were swimming in Nookin Bar was one of the highlights for me because yeah I've always wanted to do that and we got painted up and just um, hung around with the with the locals and went swimming and went to the riverbank and you know harvested like freshwater mussels and stuff went fishing caught catfish yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> On the bookworm, brother, flipping off the chapter. Woo! We want help! We want help! We're going out into remote communities, and what we're doing out there is we're networking with the children 
and they get to know us every year that we come back and they get to know us personally and we become friends with the people in the communities and we can be their main point of contact if they ever want to come to Perth and learn how to play music or if they ever need um, anyone to contact in Perth, we're there. <laughs> kids getting in dancing um, were just a yearly before and they were fantastic, I, I, you know, they were break dancing and everything. Just seeing everyone getting involved and enjoying themselves. Just going through all the floods and, and the trials and tribulations that you have on tour, just like the most exciting bit of it, you know, I've enjoyed it as, I've really enjoyed it. I just believe it's a privilege to be invited onto this land. Donations and sponsors, which we're very grateful for, and it's enabled the tour to happen three years in a row.